All right, so the trick to Adius is his mind games ability, but that only comes into play if you use a pet or a team that is level four and above. So right now I am only using level ones, meaning his team is level one. So you're only really dealing with the one ability. My main pet is experiment 13. I won't even need to use the other two because this one is very effective against beasts. So generally speaking, mechanicals are pretty good or very good against beasts. So let's try this out. See what I mean? Very easy. Okay, so if I were to throw in a level four pet, which is where your third ability comes into play, let's just switch in that one. Welcome. Which means that since I have a level four, it goes by the highest level on your team, which means he will be a level four. That's where the mind games comes in. So once again, if I were to use this pet, he uses mind games straight away, but I only have access to two abilities. So all three actually do something different. Mind games health, damage all of your team for 25% of their current health, the stun stuns your current active pet for five rounds. Let's just switch in my level four so you can see what the third one is. Lockout ability slots one and two for nine turns. So in this case, I only want to use the first ability, which will bring back all of my abilities straight away. That's definitely an advantage. Unfortunately, I don't have any level fours that are strong against a beast because I only have two at the moment. But if you just keep that in mind for whenever he throws out the mind games, just choose one. I think that's the safest bet. Then you shouldn't have too much trouble taking this guy down. So I hope that helped. As usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video.